Hi, I'm Dr. Larissa, founder and president of KGIS, the Canadian Association for Girls in Science. Our next KGIS at Home STEM challenge is all about paleontology and dinosaurs. I have a special guest who's going to tell you all about it. I'm sending you over to Dino Dana. Thank you, Dr. Larissa. I've been spending a lot of time at home lately, and I have so much more time to do my dinosaur research and dino experiments. To help me with these experiments, I have to imagine what life was like in prehistoric times and piece together information that I have. Did you know a scientist that studies the history of life on Earth is called a paleontologist? I'm currently a paleontologist in training, but my dream is to be a famous fossil hunter when I'm older. For this Canadian Association for Girls in Science, or CAGIS, at Home STEM Challenge, we're going to be creating our very own dinosaur excavation site. Then, we'll work like paleontologists to carefully excavate our discoveries. Make sure you have adult supervision. First, take two parts cornstarch, and one part water. You should end up with Ooblek. This step is super fun because you can also play with it. Ooblek is sometimes a liquid and sometimes a solid. Next. Take your dinosaur figurine and place it in the oobleck. If you don't have a dinosaur figurine or you want to make it more challenging, you can use a popsicle stick to create the shape of a dinosaur. Set the container aside for the next 24 hours to let it dry. Nom, 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 nom. It's hard, like a rock. That's how you know it's ready. Paleontologists work carefully and use special tools to make sure they don't damage anything. I'm going to carefully use a small hammer and a paintbrush and it's breaking apart. It's working. Okay, our dino is nice and clear. See? But it's pretty dusty, so we're gonna use our paintbrush to clean off our specimen. Just dust away like this. Ta-da! It looks like we have some sort of sauropod. Now, I'm not quite sure which one, but if you study the rock around the dinosaur, that's how paleontologists get to know a little bit more about your dino. Pretty neat, huh? Now, we're going to be very, very careful. We're going to remove the dino to see if we get an imprint. Now, sometimes you will get an imprint using this experiment, but sometimes you won't. So let's see if I got one. I didn't get one, but that's okay. I discovered a really neat dinosaur. So now that we have our dino, I'm going to use my notebook to write down my observations. Observations is just a fancy word for writing down what you see. So I know that my dinosaur is a sauropod. I also know it's orange. So I'm going to write that down because that might help me learn a little bit more about my dino. I hope you had fun doing this experiment. Take a photo or a video of your excavation 
and send it to us. You can send your submissions by tagging at Girls in Science and at the Dino Dana using the hashtag Cagus at Home. Or you can email your submissions to Cagus by visiting their website, girlsinscience.ca. Cagus will share some of your submissions at the end of the challenge. To end the challenge, we can meet online in a Cagus at Home live session with paleontologist Jordan Mallon from the Museum of Nature in Ottawa. I can't wait to see what you discovered. Have fun discovering!